people, welcome back to Google Reacts. I'm very excited for today's video. Um, this is going to be Cashmere from Led Zeppelin. And obviously I've heard some Led Zeppelin in my life. I have n I mean, I might have heard this song, but I wouldn't have known that it was this song and I've definitely never seen them performing. This is the Live at Nebworth in 1979. So obviously, um, I'm not sure that I would call this an official music video, even though that's what it's listed as. It's, it's just performance footage. And I wanted to clarify that because one of my commenters in the past has mentioned that um, that was misleading um, when I called a performance a music video when it wasn't technically, it was just a mishmash of footage. So, and I'm not sure what this will be yet, so I just wanted to be clear on that. And uh, they're an English rock band. And honestly, it doesn't say too much else about this song except that it was agreed on by all the members of the group that it was one of their best. So I am very excited for it. Let's get into it. Three, two, one. That beat definitely sounds familiar to me. Ooh, look at that hair! I love that synth. I think that's synth. I'm sorry, what? Why is there a telephone on top of the keys? The keyboard? The synth? Hold on, let's go back. If we take a look here, we can see there's a telephone on top of the keyboard. Why? Do they use that? Is that going to be a sound effect in this song? Okay, well since we're stopped, I, I just want to say too, I've performed a lot on stage, but when I perform on stage, there's a spotlight on me, there's lighting when I'm walking. I cannot imagine how difficult it would be for a group to perform when the stage just suddenly changes colors like this, just blue, then red, and then blue, and then red, it's like... How would you even see the keys to play? How talented do you have to be to do this? This, I'm. I, let's let's continue on. Let's continue. Thank <laughs> you. 
One more time. One more time. We need to pause and go back. Right here, you can see the guy in the khakis <laughs> do this like side shuffle that's so awesome. <laughs> it's fantastic. Let's just pick up from 255. Just watch. It's <laughs> incredible. Wow, okay, I need to process what I just heard on the drums there. Um, hold on. Okay, let's see if we can catch this. It completely takes you out of the, you know, the 4-4 four, four time to steady beat that they were in. Wow.
so much happening. Crap, that drummer. need to wow wow so John Bonham on the drums holy crap that was fantastic <laughs> and then Robert Plant with his I've never seen hair that amazing in my life. <laughs> if I could have that hair, I would definitely take that hair. That was incredible. Uh, also listed as John Paul Jones on the bass. And the Mellotron, okay, uh, is what I call the synth. And Jimmy Page, of course, on the electric guitar. Six and twelve string. Really quickly, just for my own knowledge, it says the Mellotron is an electromechanical musical instrument played by pressing the keys. It doesn't specifically say that it is a synth. Oh, okay. The Mellotron uses the same concept as a sampler, but generates its sound using analog recordings on audio tape. When a key is pressed, a tape connected to it is pushed against a playback head as in a tape deck. Wow. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm getting into a wormhole of the Mellotron now. Okay, that is so freaking cool. So not a synth, a Mellotron, which it says is used like an audio sampler. Wow. I learned something new today. Hmm. That's fantastic. I still don't understand why he had a telephone on top of it. Why did he have a telephone? Does anyone know why he had the telephone? If anyone out there knows why he had a telephone on top of his Mellotron, a Mellotron telephone, <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know, because that was fantastic. Wow. Oh my god, my mind is blown. My mind is just absolutely blown. How amazing is Robert Plant's voice? Can we just talk about that for a minute? How incredibly fantastic his voice is. And song is such a journey. First of all, it was long, because obviously songs from the 70s and 80s were so much longer than songs today. I mean, let's not talk about roundabout or anything, but I mean, just incredible. And it was just ever changing. It was like this meandering thing. You didn't know where it was going to go to next. And then at, at random points, the drum would come in and it would either do this, you know, it, you would be in 4-4 and the drums would come in and slightly take you out of the 4-4 and take you right back in. Or if you would do like a da 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 and you would just do a full stop and then they'd go right back into it. Just incredible drumming. Sorry if there was any background noise in this video, you guys. They are snow plowing literally right outside my window. Mm, there it is. Yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up so you don't have to hear any more of that. 
incredible. If you've got another Led Zeppelin song you want me to listen to, please leave the link below. And as always, I am the Google, this is Google Reacts, and I will catch you on the next song. Bye.